Before starting the disassembly, prepare the required tools. Keep the phone powered off. Attach the TP process protective film and remove the card tray using the eject pin. Use the manual screwdriver with the 0.8 mm pentagon screwdriver bit to remove the two screws from the bottom of the phone. Use the disassembly stick to open a gap on the lower left corner to the left of the speaker holes. And then slide the disassembly stick along the gap counterclockwise to open the buckles at the bottom. Avoid touching the speaker and microphone hole steering operation. Open the buckle by sliding the disassembly stick upwards until it reaches the bottom of the side buttons. Use both hands to separate the front and rear covers from left to right to avoid damaging the fingerprint sensor FPC. Open the rear cover and place it on the right side of the front cover. Remove the mylar from the fingerprint sensor ZIF connector on the rear cover and then remove the fingerprint sensor FPC. Before removing the PCBA, use the plastic tweezers to remove the coaxial cable. Then use the number 0000 manual Phillips screwdriver to remove the seven screws. Use the plastic tweezers to remove the main FPC B2B connector steel sheet from the PCBA, LCD B2B connector steel sheet, rear camera B2B connector steel sheet, and front camera B2B steel sheet. Use the B2B connector removal tool to remove all B2B connectors and remove the battery B2B connector first. Then remove the fingerprint sensor FPC, front camera and rear camera. One, hold the rear camera support with your left hand, face the camera lens downwards and use the plastic tweezers to pry up the two cameras from the space between the camera FPC and the support. Avoid touching the camera lens during operation. Two, use plastic tweezers, alcohol, and lint-free cloth to remove the residual adhesive from the support and cameras. Three, use the plastic tweezers to attach two pieces of adhesive to the inner side of the support. Four, install the new camera to the camera support. Use the plastic tweezers to pry up the PCBA from the card tray position on the front cover. After the PCBA tilts and a gap is open, slightly rotate the PCBA to the right to remove the PCBA. Scrape off the thermal gel from the PCBA in front cover, and then use the lint-free cloth dipped in alcohol to remove the residual adhesive. Dispense about 75 mg Honeywell Thermal Gel to the white silkscreen frame on the front cover and the route is instructed. Prepare the new PCBA. Check that the flash rubber case, water indicating label and springs are intact. Slightly bend the LCD FPC and battery FPC. Align the FPC with the positioning rod on the lower left corner on the front cover. Tilt the PCBA and insert its left side into the buckle on the left side of the front cover. Align the upper right corner of the PCBA with the positioning rods on the front cover and install the PCBA in place. After installing the PCBA, fasten the main FPC B2B connector, fingerprint sensor FPC B2B connector, LCD B2B connector, rear camera B2B connector, front camera B2B connector and battery B2B connector in sequence. Install the corresponding B2B connector steel sheets. Tighten the seven screws in sequence shown in the figure and attach a warranty label. Install a new coaxial cable to the corresponding position on the front cover. The installation of PCBA is complete. Use the plastic tweezers to remove the coaxial cable. Remove the two screws from the PCBA and six screws from the subsidiary board. Remove the B2B connector steel sheets from both ends of the main FPC. Remove the battery B2B connector and main FPC B2B connector from the subsidiary board. Use the plastic tweezers to pry up the speaker from its lower left corner and take the speaker out. Slightly rotate the subsidiary board from the position of the USB port and remove the subsidiary board. 
remove the adhesive from the front cover and speaker. Prepare a new subsidiary board and remove the microphone mylar. Align the subsidiary board with the positioning rod. Insert the top of the subsidiary board obliquely into the buckle on the upper left corner. Hold the right side of the subsidiary board. Rotate and insert the subsidiary board into the metal buckle. Press the right side of the subsidiary board to ensure that it is installed properly. Take a speaker and align the lower right corner of the speaker with the positioning rod on the front cover. Install the speaker in place. Secure one main FPC B2B connector to the subsidiary board and then secure the battery B2B connector. Install the steel sheets at both ends of the main FPC. Fasten the two screws on the PCBA and six screws on the subsidiary board in the sequence shown in the figure. Then attach a warranty label. Take a new coaxial cable and install it to the corresponding position on the front cover. The installation of subsidiary board is complete. After removing the PCBA, subsidiary board and speaker, use the metal tweezers to pry up proximity sensor subboard from its upper left corner, and then remove the proximity sensor subboard from the front cover. Use the tweezers to remove the adhesive from the proximity sensor subboard and place the proximity sensor subboard in a shielding bag to prevent dust. Use the tweezers to remove the release paper from the adhesive area of the proximity sensor subboard on the front cover. Install the proximity sensor to the front cover and then use your thumb to tap the proximity sensor subboard to activate the adhesive. Note that if the front cover does not have the proximity sensor subboard adhesive, Attach new adhesive to the front cover. Install the PCBA, subsidiary board and speaker to the front cover and the screen installation is complete. Remove the four screws from the LCD steel sheet and main FPC on the PCBA. Remove the steel sheets and remove the battery B2B connector main FPC B2B connector from PSBA, fingerprint sensor FPC B2B connector, and LCD B2B connector. Tear apart the Polar 3 on the left side of the battery to separate it from the Polar 1 and the Polar 2. Tear apart Polar 1 and Polar 2 from the battery and ensure that the adhesive on the Polar 1 and Polar 2 areas are not attached to the battery. Hold the Polar 3 and pull the battery slowly upward at an angle of 75 degrees. Gradually pull out the battery. After the battery gets out for about two-thirds of its entire length, directly remove the battery by hand. Tear off the residual film from the battery compartment, remove the adhesive's base material from the battery, and clear the adhesive residue. Ensure that no foreign object is left inside the battery compartment on the front cover and the adhesive has been cleaned up. Then attach a new piece of battery adhesive to the battery compartment. Gently hold the battery by its two sides and install the battery to the front cover assembly. Ensure that the battery is free from damage and is properly installed at a time. Do not reinstall the battery if the installation fails. Check that the roller is free of foreign objects. Roll on the battery vertically for over three times with six to 10 seconds each time. When rolling on the battery, ensure that the green identification block on the head of the roller is exposed. When rolling on the battery, avoid touching the FPC area above the battery top to protect the battery circuitry and prevent risks. Keep a distance of eight millimeters to the edge of the battery head and tail. Install the LCD FPC, main FPC, fingerprint sensor FPC, and battery FPC, and then replace the battery. Place the rear cover to the right side of the front cover. Insert the fingerprint sensor FPC edge connector into the ZIF connector and close the ZIF connector cover. Take one piece of insulation mylar and attach it to the connector. Check that no foreign object is left on the rear camera and its lens. 
align the rear cover with the top of the front cover, and fasten all buckles from top to bottom. Use the manual screwdriver with the Pentagon screwdriver bit to fasten the two exterior screws. Install the car tray into the phone. Check that the side buttons feel normal and the phone can be powered on properly. The assembly is now complete. Thank you for watching.